Okay, here I found a picture on Flickr that was in the Creative Commons. So it was okay to copy and play with. Uh, I'll leave a link to it uh, down below. Okay, what we're going to do is uh, cut out the screen area of the computer. So let's first start with uh, right click, add alpha channel, rename that to original. That way if we have problems we can always go back to it. So now let's uh, zoom in. I'm going to want to actually see the pixels when I select them. So here I'm going to use the free select tool. And let's hide those tools. And I'm going to select here. And just get as close to the edge of the pixels as I can. Hold down the shift key. I can drag the picture around. And then we're going to click in the first place we clicked. And that gives us our little marching ants. And we're going to come over here to select feather and choose two pixels. That's going to keep us from having a jaggedy line and click OK. Shift Control E zoomed out to everything and we're gonna delete that. You didn't see that because I had the original visible. And now you can see the transparent hull. So let's go back to our static picture. Zoom out, hitting the minus key, and edit. Copy visible. That's going to only Make one letter. Come back to the computer screen. Edit. Paste as new layer. And we're going to pull that behind the uh, computer picture. And we're going to resize that. Uh, 
Oops, what did I do wrong? Okay, cancel. Select none. There we go. Get in the middle, you can uh, pull it around. Now, technically, that's not very straight, so let's leave that right there. And let's use the rotate tool. And that's pretty close to the direction the monitor's running. Rotate. Bring our tools back. I'm just hitting the tabs. We're going to hit the scale tool again. Zoom out just a hair. Now we really want it a little larger than the area of the screen. That'll give us some playing around room. Okay, we're going to select the Move tool. And... There we go. No more transparent areas showing. Now, if we want, we can duplicate this and maybe go to multiply. It's going to make everything darker. Then we can lighten it up to what we want. And that looks pretty good. Now let's go to the original computer I'll not yeah the original computer we're gonna duplicate it and we're gonna move that above the picture of me I tried to find all sorts of broken glass textures and I just couldn't find anything I liked so, we're going to change the mode to yeah, Grange and Merge. And we can always play with the opacity a little bit so we get what we like. And let's take the 
picture of the computer with the hole in it. Yeah, to me, it's pretty light. So I'm going to go into colors, curves. And I'm just going to pull the curves down a little bit on both the light end and the dark end. And that looks pretty good. Original. Darkened a little bit. Click OK. Now this is up to you, but the screen looks a little flat to me. So I'm going to make a new layer. Transparent. Take the ellipse tool. And then we're going to use the blend tool. And we're going to want to go from white to transparent. I put the white in the foreground and foreground to transparent. Now I've got the control key to give me a nice good straight line. And we can change this to overlay, screen or overlay, I'm not sure which. I think it was overlay. Yeah. And then we're going to come to filters, blur, Gaussian blur, And we're just going to pump that up. Oops, cancel. Select none. Now we're going to do filters. Reshow Gaussian. And that looks okay. Take the move tool. Move it anywhere we want. Zoom out. I think I want to pull it down a little more. So I'm going to do the scale. See a little sliver of light so I know I'm on the right layer. Just pull that down, make it a little longer. And that looks okay. And that's about it. I hope you got some good out of this video. Sorry it's so long. <laughs> Took me about two or three days to figure this out. So, 
Enjoy. <laughs>